Let's talk a little bit about Jed Wills. It seems like um, there's a guy that the fan base just seems to have a little bit of venom built up about. Why do you think that is with Jed Wills? Jed is interesting because Jed was a top 10 pick. He's the only top 10 pick of the Andrew Barry era. Now, maybe if we had more top 10 picks, we would focus less on Jed, but Jed's the one guy there. Also, Jed is the guy that when you drafted Greg Newsom in the first round, nobody really went behind Greg Newsom that made you go, oh, man, wish we would have got that guy. But Tristan Wirfs went behind Jed. A lot of people wanted Tristan Wirfs instead of Jed Wills. So not only is Jed not the guy that some people wanted, the guy that they wanted is looking like a Hall of Famer. And I think that plays in to the perception of him. It's similar to what happened with Jerry Judy in Denver. Also with Jed, you know, Jed has this flaw in his game where he's not the greatest improviser in the world. And that tends to show up as somebody who quits on plays. I don't think that's what that is. I don't think he quits on plays. I just think he he gets stuck sometimes when he has to improvise and he can't make a decision. So I think all of those things combine to have people kind of be frustrated with jail wheels. And it's just kind of a tough situation for him to be in. But hopefully with this year, he can have a good enough year to where he can overcome all that.